Hey cutie. How you doing baby? Good evening girls. Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. Cause you're looking well. Okay. I wanted to change it up this week. I wanted to have a little evening vibe between me and you. I wanted to get cozy. I wanted me and you to get closer. More intimate. Okay. No for real. I wanted to do... Basically I wanted to take a week off vlogging. <laughs> because I was doing weekly vlogs as you know and yeah I just want to take a wee break a wee break and that's what I've done so I'll just state the obvious my skin has taken a shit attack I felt recently that my face has been full of pus that's since my last period I just felt really puffy and then lots of little tiny white spots were coming up I don't know if I'm like infected with something I don't know what's going on but basically I have like breakouts and I never get big breakouts like this like I wouldn't say I've ever had acne it's not half as bad now, it's really cleared up actually. And to be honest, it's been quite inconvenient for me. If I'm being honest, it has been inconvenient to say the least, okay? Because every time I pop a spot, six more appear around the area. I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know. I don't know. This is definitely a reaction to something. I just don't know what I've changed. I don't think I've changed anything. Uh, I can't, I can't pinpoint it. Anyway, skin problems aside, we're gonna do a bit of skincare tonight. Yeah, welcome to the vlog. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you all. And let's get into our intimate evening together, girls. I love you. First things first, I'm the realist. I'm a step in the whole world feeling. I'm so in the middle of business and I'm down. Like I'm teaching us some physics where I rap. What's that song and why do I know the lyrics like that? Because I can't I don't what even Anyway, I need to get a shower. That's the first thing we're gonna do now. And then yeah, we'll do some skincare and hair stuff and everything else this evening we're gonna get cozy also i'm gonna paint mm -hmm. wholesome yeah wholesome in the house wholesome in the house and we're just gonna have a nice time me and you let's go i stink i literally stink right now i want to try a heatless curtain set tonight that i got ages ago i literally don't even remember when i got it but the only thing i'm thinking is doesn't your hair have to be damp not wet i think it has to be like damp so should i just do like a quick once all over with the Dyson and then use it. It's like surely if I done it when my hair is this wet, it would just still be soaking in the morning. Yeah, I'm gonna give my hair once over with the Dyson and I'll be back and we'll do the heatless curls. Love it. This is the silly little kit. I don't even know where I got this. I think I just picked it up one day in the shop. Anyway, how is everyone? How are we all keeping like, what's the vibes? Are you good? I hope you're all good. I hope you don't mind that I didn't do a weekly vlog this week. I just wasn't feeling it. Like, okay, how do we do this? I need to not talk for a second while I concentrate. This is very long, this one. I tried to do this once with my nightgown. Do you remember everybody was doing that? I don't think it ended well for me. I think I was impressed right off the bat and then I realized how like kinky and not seamless it was. I feel like I'm doing this in the most awkward way ever. I don't think I'm doing this right, girls. Probably should have brought a hairbrush with me. Right, well, we'll see how this goes. This does not feel like it's gonna be comfortable to sleep in. Okay, we're a bit uneven. Don't know how well that's gonna work. I'm just gonna put them to the back. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna go and get another scrunchie to put that to the back. Not gonna lie, girls, this is not gonna last in my head tonight. <laughs> this will be on the floor, ripped out of my head because it is so rigid. Do you hear that? See how we get on with it. If I do keep it in, I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow morning. But anyway, how are we all keeping? I've missed you. Normally by this stage in the week, I've already been chatting to you is because normally my vlogs are weekly vlog style let me know if you are enjoying this one i know i haven't really done much yet after you watch this full video let me know if you like this like one evening type style where i'm chatting to you is like a wee bit more full on because i want to know what you like okay me and you besties I'm working away all week trotting on you know the crack it's now three and a half weeks until we go to vietnam we ordered our backpacks girls we ordered backpack. I can't deal. I'm not even gonna lie, mine is so ugly, the color that I chose. It's just, it is what it is. I'll probably show you that in the next video because it's not here yet, but I don't think I can take myself seriously with that big bag on my back. Like honestly, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles who? Honestly, it's gonna be like a shell on my back. They're like 60 liter bags, so they're pretty big. I wanted to make sure that I have room to do a bit of shopping because obviously there's lots of little markets. I just wanna make sure if I want that, that it's an option that I can put it in because what do you think? Well, you hungry? 
But yeah, I was watching Emma Neal's video. She was saying how she sent a package home with all of the stuff that she bought and it cost her like 150 pounds. So that's 350 dollars and I just don't feel like I want to do that. I'd rather just bring a bigger bag, pack a bit less and hope that I can like fit everything in I suppose. That's the plan anyway. So we've both got 60 litres. Woo! -hoo! Girls, I'm so excited. When I say it's consuming my life, it's all I've been watching videos on. It's all I've been thinking about. The past two weeks, I haven't really done anything for myself. This kind of vibe that I'm doing this evening, I wish I just could do it every evening and it's not the case. I suppose it's just not real life to be able to have that time to kind of unwind like this. Just even that walk home from work earlier, like it does something to me. Just giving myself a bit of time is so important. The past week when I say I have been struggling to sleep, I don't know if it's the excitement for Vietnam or I'm not winding down properly, but I cannot sleep. And I'm not just saying like, oh, it takes me an hour to fall asleep. It's taken me three to four hours every evening to fall asleep. And it just shouldn't be. It's stressing me out. I've actually got to the point where I'm thinking so much about not sleeping that it's just not helping me sleep. <laughs> I think it's like this cycle of I'm too excited to sleep and then now I'm nervous that I'm not going to sleep and then I can't sleep because I'm too nervous and too anxious. Do you know what I mean? Look how sensitive my face is. As soon as I put any pressure on any part of my body, I'm a goner. I start going blotchy and red. I'm going to throw on this sweet sheet mask. Ah! Remember to rub all that access in, girls. Put on your crusty elbows. I'm literally such a messer. Okay, I think it's noodle time. I picked up the hot and spicy by accident. It wasn't meant to, it was just meant to pick up the chicken ones. Now I'm a bit scared. Taste test though. Threw me over that tea towel as well so I don't spill on this carpet. Okay, taste test. Mask's starting to dry up. You're done. Oh, no better feeling. Anyway, here we go. Also, I'm guilty, I have to tell you. I only put half of the chili powder in. Cause there's like six different seasonings that you get with it. It's gonna be tasty anyway. Do I really want to add the shredded up chili? Mm, not really. There's a bit of spice with all of these type of noodles. Mm. Anyway, let's have a talk girls. Obviously I've been living in Australia now for nearly a year and I haven't felt homesick once. Honestly, like I really don't think I have. I can't think of a time that I felt homesick. And even if I have felt like bits and pieces of homesick, my overall experience has not made me miss home at all, which sometimes I feel bad for because I'm like, why don't I miss home more? But I'm in contact with everybody that I need to be in contact with and all that's fine. However, as you know, I have a couple of friends who have babies and another one of my friends just told me that she is also pregnant. I currently have three friends at home who either have children or are pregnant. And honestly, that just gives me a little bit of homesickness. Okay, I'm a little bit homesick. Not homesick, but just like FOMO. One of my friends had a baby right before I left, like literally three weeks before I left to come here. Another one of my friends had a baby three months after I got here, so I've never met him. And now another one of my friends have announced to me that they're pregnant and I'm like, can you not wait? For me to get home. I just want to make sure that they know Auntie Neve, do you know what I mean? And like that's literally the only thing that I miss, I think. Or like I just want to see my friends being mums, like I'm so proud of them all. I just want to see them blossom into mummies, like I just think that's so beautiful for them. It's not for me, but it's beautiful for them. One sister has also had a baby since we've been away, so he has a little nephew that we haven't even met, which is just so sad. I'm going home in March because our friends are getting married in March, but that's gonna be like, what, a year and a half since I've been home and some of the babies are gonna be like a year and a half old. What the frick, dude? We also found out as well that our lease in this place is not being continued. It's really thrown a spanner in the works because obviously we're in Vietnam when our lease is supposed to be up. So we're not gonna be here to move out. Um, however, we have worked it out that we're going to basically pack up all our stuff and leave and end the lease early before we go to Vietnam. But it's just a handling because I have so many things that I need to pack up now. Do you know what I mean? Like I've made this into like home somewhere that I feel comfortable in and like, it's just so sad that they're not letting us keep it for another year. It would have been so perfect to have it for another year, but it is what it is. We'll just have to pack everything up and bring it to our home somewhere else, wherever that is. Oh, you actually could not write my life. You could not write that. Next up on this evening's agenda is a little bit of painting. 
why not? I'm gonna throw on a YouTube video and do a bit of painting, paint by numbers, yeah. How therapeutic is that? I wanna do something that's not scrolling on my phone. I am obviously reading this book. I haven't read any more since I was last talking to you, have I? Yeah, I'm still chapter 16. I will read this tonight as well. I'll probably leave that until I'm in bed. I'll maybe read that while I fall asleep. Yeah, let's do a bit of painting. Why not? Why not, girls? The world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want. You wanna paint? Paint. Right, let's go. Okay, we're about to do a little bit of painting because I am an artiste and I have soul and I have artistic flair. This is a picture here of my coffee art this morning. Does that not look like a puffer fish? Yes, it does. Okay, let's see what I can do. Which one should I paint? This is the four. Which one should I do? Okay, I've got my cup of water, I'm ready. I'm just a girl with a couple of paintbrushes and a glass of water, what can I say? Do you hear that alarm? It sounds like it's across the road. You see what's going on over there? What does an artist need to paint? Her paint pots. Okay, I feel like the smartest thing to do is to start with the lightest color, five. My eyesight is so bad, honestly. This white is paint number five. This is my weapon of choice. Maybe I should start from the top. Guys, I haven't painted in, honestly, years. I don't think I've painted since I was in school. I'm not even joking. I can't remember ever painting. You know, why am I having so much fun? Tell me how I've been going at this for like 15 minutes. It looks like I've did nothing. Because I'm painting in white. All on top of white. Yeah, that could get my nerves very easy. That could get my nerves. We're swapping onto the skinny brush. This is my weapon. I wish my daughter. <laughs> Every single time I edit my videos and I look like this, I'm like, Neve, do you realize people watch? We're going in with the baby pink. Ah, oh, it got me. <laughs> I'm painting, but honestly, nothing's coming out. None of the colors seem to be showing up. In fairness, I am only using a baby pink. But what in the translucent is going on here? I have a question for anybody who's a fantasy reader. If you've read the Akatar series, right? Someone said to me recently that they've read A Court of Rose and Thorns, right? And they actually prefer a Throne of Glass. Can anyone who's read them both tell me if that's true? Because if it is, I'm so excited. I am scared to finish this because I just love it so much, truly. So I'm trying to go really slow. But if I know that there's another series that's just as good, I'll be a happy girl. I'll be a happy, happy, happy girl. You know those kind of people that have hobbies? Like, you know people who paint as a hobby or like they sew or they like crochet or knit or like they love fish. I'm always so jealous of those people because I don't feel like I have a hobby. Don't get me wrong, like I do enjoy this sort of thing, but I don't do it as a hobby. Like I don't ever finish a project, do you know what I mean? Like I'll probably get halfway done this and then just stop. But I would love to have like a weird hobby that no one else has. Or like, not that no one else has, but it's like a really select few. Like, I play the trombone, I collect seashells, or I collect, I collect antique tractors or antique whatever. I was watching, um, is it Emma, not Emma Stone, what do you call her? She's the main, she's the main character in the American Horror Stories with Kim Kardashian. What is her name? You know who I'm talking about. I was watching her house tour on Architectural Digest the other day on their YouTube. I love watching them. And she collects antique dolls, Barbies and dolls. And I just love that. I just think that's so adorable. Like collecting something like that. It's also probably an indicator that you have too much money, but like, I don't know. I love it. I just think it's so cute. I would love to gain a hobby like that. Give me some hobby ideas. Even with arts and crafts and stuff, like I do enjoy it, but I just don't have a lot of patience. Like I love starting a puzzle or something, but I never finish it. Maybe I'll take up tennis or something. Crocheting maybe. Do you know what my favorite hobby is? Napping. I just really love a nap. It's borderline a problem. I just love, there's nothing like just putting your head down the pillow in the middle of the day, blinds closed, conked out for a few hours, dead to the world. Who colors inside the lines anyway? Break the rules, be your own person, be you. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay, chat soon. We're on to green girls. Ooh, transparent who? That is the first bit of color that we have had. Green. Love it. Literally 30 hours later. This has taken quite some time, girls. And to be honest, it looks a bit crap. We've already started, but we must finish. Can't lie though, I am enjoying myself very much so, very thoroughly. I'm a little bit annoyed that I had to 
turn on the big light I genuinely couldn't see and as vibey as that gorgeous mushroom light is it just it isn't given paint lighting do you know what I mean I need to see my art sorry what way am I lying <laughs> why am I lying like this I have literally if you've seen the positions that I've been in the past half an hour literally I'm exhausted okay he's ready <laughs> is it winning any awards Yes, actually it is. You'll see this in Paris someday. And then who will be laughing? <laughs> there she is. Isn't she lovely? That's put me in the mood for a cup of tea. Read it in the comments. Be nice. I'm just an artist. I'm just a girl and I'm just an artist. Don't look at me. Let's have some tea. This is what dreams are made of. I feel like every other Irish person had this exact same experience. So I used to drink tea obviously and I used to have like three sugars. And then one year my dad challenged me to go off it for Lent. He says, after you finish Lent without sugar, you'll not want sugar in your tea. You'll hate sugar, it'll be disgusting. And true enough, I did the Lent without sugar and after Lent was over I had a cup of tea, put sugar in it. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Like I don't know how anybody takes sugar in their tea. I can't even imagine doing that anymore. Anyway, I think I'm gonna read a chapter of my book. Oh my god. I just have to realise and I have enough to my phone all evening. Since I started painting like an hour and a half ago. That could have been two hours ago, you know. I don't know. Time is warped right now but I spent a lot of time in that painting and I didn't even think to lift my phone. Just lifted it there. First thing that came up. Blake Lively put up the first trailer to um, it ends with us. If you read it, you read it, you know the crack. There's it starts with us actually. I'm using it as, I'm using it on the stand, look. You see? I actually don't even think I finished that one, you know. I'm gonna watch it for the first time and we can get my live reaction. Okay, let's get my first reaction. Wait, was that Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift. About 15 seconds. That's all I take. Okay, I don't know about the cast. When it was first announced that it was going to be Blake and that guy as Ryle, it was not the characters that I was thinking of. It's so far from what I was thinking when I was reading the book. So I think I'm going to find that hard. Like watching that trailer there, I'm like, I don't know about that casting. And I love Blake Lively. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a bad Blake Lively movie. I'm quite intrigued to see the whole movie, to see how they done that. But I don't know, I'm not very excited. Whereas if it had been a better cast, I would have been really excited for that movie because it could be done so well. But I really don't think that cast is right. It doesn't feel right at all. There's so much of it that just feels wrong. Even Atlas doesn't feel right. Yeah, I don't know, girls. Oh. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to read a little chapter before I go to bed. It's very late, guys. This is like, should we pull it on later? We really shouldn't, girls. We're not going to, you know. I'm actually so tired and I've got therapy in the morning. Yeah, it's 5 to 12. Crazy. Right, I need to get comfortable. Hi. Look at us having a sleepover. How cute are we? I'm sleeping in the spare room tonight because Owen has to get up for work tomorrow and we've been big badasses. Woo! We've stayed up so late. It's not um, half past 12. We're crazy. We're so mad and crazy. I've literally had the best evening ever. Like, staying off my phone is literally the one thing that guarantees my happiness. Don't get me wrong, I love a scroll. I've just realized that endlessly scrolling like, I'm not joking, I would be watching YouTube and also watching TikTok. How? How does one successfully do that? Like, you can't. Just distracting myself with something that isn't my phone was so nice. I just read one chapter of my book there, so I'm in chapter 17 now. I was too tired, I was losing concentration on the story. And if you have read the Akatar series, you kind of do have to be a bit clued in 
when you're reading it like you can't just skip parts you get a bit lost for a while i swear i'm really loving this fantasy hype like i really really love it i'll actually insert now the results of my hair in the morning if i keep this thing in because honestly it's annoying me already do i need to keep this in i don't think this is doing anything right now my camera's out of battery so i'm having to do this on my phone apologies All of these parts underneath are straight. I don't think it's not right. But it could be cute though. Just not today. Oh, you I'm excited to see. Is it good or is it bad? Let me know. I don't even know yet. And you just know what? Oh, woo. Honestly, I think I just drifted off to sleep there. <laughs> right, I'll love you and leave you, girls. I have to go to sleep right now. Would you come on a second date with me? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It means the world. Honestly, a like goes a long way. I'm just loving YouTube at the minute. Every Sunday I'll post for you. I'm going to Vietnam, so we're going to have lots of fun there. I'm so honored that you spent this evening with me. But yeah, girls, see ya. Love ya. Bye.